If you are an expert skier, you may already be familiar with the double turn. It's often used as an exercise to practice your etching skills and the release of the turn. In this video, I'm going to share my personal thoughts on the double turn because I believe there are so many other cool things that you can do with it. Hi, my name is Janus Hecht. I'm a national examiner in the Danish Ski School and it is my mission to help you improve your ski and inspire you to try new stuff. Now let's dig into the double turn. Before we go into how you can use the double turn to become a better skier and some of the cool things you can do with it, I want to share a few exercises that will help you learn this awesome move. Etching and releasing the edges with great precision is essential to performing the double turn. This is also the reason why the double turn is often used as an exercise to practice these skills. The side slip exercise and the variations I'm about to show you is a great way to build your etching and releasing skills so you can master the double turn. Bend and move your knees inwards to edge. When you're fully etched, your knees, hips and shoulders should be parallel to the ground. Extend your legs to release and slide sideways down the slope a bit. Then repeat. Keep a smooth flow and rhythm and make sure your knees move together so your skis are etched equally. Once you get the side slips, you can exaggerate the movements so you catch some air instead of just sliding. This is a fun move that also encourages a good middle position and teaches you how much grip you can actually get from proper and balanced edging. Now try the move while traversing the slope. Do the etching and releasing movements from before and experiment with blending in a bit of steering to the etching. At this point, you're ready to give the full version of the double turn a go. The first turn is less complete than the second turn. See if you can find a nice rhythm. Besides being a great exercise for improving your etching and releasing skills, I believe the double turn also offers a great opportunity to improve a variety of other important skiing skills. Let me give you a few of my favorite examples. One of the ways I like to use the double turn is to start the turn, get a feeling for the turn, release the edges, adjust in my mind what I thought should be done differently and then I perform the, the full turn with the adjustments in mind. So for example I'd like to uh, blend my etching with my leg steering in a turn and I start with the first turn to get a feeling for it. Should I have a little bit more etching or should I have more steering? So I test it, I adjust and then I perform. So when you try the double turn, you can have this in your mind. Test, adjust, perform. Another thing I often use the double turn for is to find a good middle position. I test my position in the first turn to see if I need to go a little bit more back or a little more to the front to hit a good middle position. As you can see, you can use the double turn as an exercise to improve your precision in a variety of skiing skills. But the double turn is so much more than a great exercise you can practice to become a better skier. It's a fun move to play around with in its own right and it can be part of your skiing in a variety of creative ways. Here are a few ideas for you to go out and try. Try makes a double turn into your run whenever you feel for it. Skiing with good rhythm has a lot of benefits, but throwing in a double turn here and there can be pretty fun too. 
Once you get the double turn, you can simply add another one. You can also throw in a dolphin turn after the first turn. This is a challenging and fun move that will encourage a good middle position, effective fore and aft balance and lots of angle and knee movement. And I just love being airborne in the transition. I hope you got some new perspectives on the double turn and that you got inspired to try some new things with it. Please let me know down in the comments what you like about the double turn. Also make sure that you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day and see you on the slopes.